Hello, I'm Mayor Lori Lightfoot. And I'm First Lady Amy Eshelman. Enjoying food, music, and the arts in Grant Park is a Chicago summertime tradition. Unfortunately, while we've had to cancel many of our beloved annual events due to COVID-19, we will be coming together online this summer with Taste of Chicago to go. This is an engaging new series of virtual events presented by Chicago's Department of Cultural Affairs and Special Events. Thanks to them, we're continuing to support our city's world-class restaurant industry. Taste of Chicago to Go expands upon DCASE's Community Eats program, supporting about two dozen neighborhood restaurants and food trucks, while providing free meals to nonprofit organizations serving healthcare and other frontline workers. DCASE is promoting Taste of Chicago eateries online, and they've organized a series of virtual cooking demos by local chefs. For the complete Taste of Chicago to Go schedule and more, please visit the Taste of Chicago website at tasteofchicago.us. And please, be well and be safe, Chicago. and welcome to Taste of Chicago To Go. I am Chef Maya Camille Boussard and I will be hosting today's online cookie demonstration. Um, I am the founder of Justice of the Pies, which is a bakery that specializes in sweet and savory pies, quiches, and tarts. And you can learn more about us by visiting justiceofthepies.com. I also do teach classes, culinary classes, and you can find more information about that at justiceforallrecipes.com. So let's get started. Today we are going to make lemon lime cake, which is something that I love because it's so light and buttery, but it's perfect for summer. So I have a KitchenAid standing mixer, but if you don't have a standing mixer, then a hand mixer with a large bowl is perfectly fine. We're going to start off with three sticks of butter that has been salted at room temperature, and the butter is unsalted butter. So I'm just going to put that into my mixer. And I am going to cream this butter with three cups of granulated sugar. Pour that in. And we're gonna mix this on low. While that's mixing, I'm going to take my um, grater and I'm going to zest one whole lemon and I'm also going to zest one whole lime. You want to cream your sugar and your butter until all of the sugar has incorporated with the butter and it's a nice creamy texture. It should only take about two to three minutes. I also forgot to mention that I am preheating my oven to 325 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to turn off this mixer and we are going to add five eggs. The eggs are also um, at room temperature and we have to add one egg at a time because eggs and butter are almost like water and oil. They don't naturally mix. So in order to create an emulsion, we need to add and blend 
one egg at a time. Don't add all five eggs at once. <laughs> so I'm just going to crack this egg in here and turn the mist on. Meanwhile, I'm going to continue zesting. Add another egg. And zest some more. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. Okay, time to add another egg. This is egg number four. Now, before I add the final egg, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the mixer and I'm going to scrape down the sides to make sure that there's no butter sugar mixture stuck on the side of the uh, mixing bowl because I want to make sure that it's well incorporated and every single ounce of butter and sugar gets some egg love. So I'm just going to scrape the bowl and I'm going to scrape the paddle as well. I see some sugar and some butter has adhered itself to my paddle attachment. Scrape that off. Bring it back up, turn the mixer back on, and then I'm going to add my final egg. Okay, so once the eggs are fully blended into the cake batter, we're going to add our lemon and lime zest. We're also going to add one fourth cup of sour cream. return the mixer back on. Once the sour cream has blended into the cake mixture, the batter, we're going to add three cups of cake flour, but we're going to divide this flour into thirds visually, and we're going to add it in thirds. So this is the first third. Smells so good. Oh my goodness. Bright and citrusy. I love it. Once the flour has incorporated with the wet ingredients, then we can add more flour. Let's add another third. Let that mix. And while we are mixing our cake batter, I wanted to let you know that I have a burnt uh, cake pan that I've lined with shortening and all-purpose flour. 
You can use a blank can for this. You can use a layered sheet pan, or if you wanted to use two round pans, you totally could. When it comes to like the cake pans that you're using, there are no rules. I don't want you to go out and buy one of these if you don't already have it at home. I want you to be able to use what you have at home. Okay, so let's go ahead and add this last third of cake flour into the batter. Turn that on. While this is missing, I am going to put in one half teaspoon of kosher salt. I'm also going to put in one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract and one teaspoon of lemon extract. Gotta have a little bit of extra pucker. <laughs> Now, the last thing I'm going to add is one cup of lemon lime soda. So we'll just pour that in while the batter is mixing. Slowly pour it in so that it doesn't splash all over the place. Okay. As soon as the lemon lime soda has incorporated with the batter, we want to turn it off because we don't want to over mix our cake batter and have like a really flat cake. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn that off. Take the paddle attachment off of the mixer. Scrape the cake batter off of the paddle because I want every single little bit of batter that I can get. No need to waste. Okay, so I'm gonna take my missing bowl and I'm just going to scrape the size and just hand mitts whatever flour might be left over. So I've got a nice creamy batter. So buttery and citrusy, delicious. All right, so let's pour this into our cake pan. So I'm using a bunt cake pan, but whatever cake pan you have is good to go. I'm just gonna flip this around so that it's even, evenly distributed throughout the cake pan. Awesome, that is beautiful. See, nice and fluffy and buttery and citrusy. Amazing. So I'm going to pop this into the oven that I've got preheated at 350 degrees, uh, 325 degrees, excuse me. Um, and the name of the game with this cake is low and slow. If we have the temperature too high, then the outside is gonna to bake too quickly and the inside is still going to be um, wet with the batter. So low and slow, be patient. 60 minutes, we're gonna come back and take out our cake. Let's clean up. <laughs> 
Awesome. So now an hour has gone by and it's time for us to take our cake out of the oven. Ooh. A rack almost fell in my oven. Look at how beautiful that is. It's a nice golden brown color. So here's how to test it to make sure that it is done. Take a knife, stick it right in the center, and then it comes out dry. It's done. So we are going to let the cake rest for 10 minutes so that it can cool a little bit. If we take it out too early, then the cake is gonna fall apart. If we wait too late to take the cake out of the bunt cake pan, then it's going to stick and adhere to the pan. So we're going to allow it to cool for 10 minutes, then we could flip it over and have a taste. Mmm, I can't wait. Okay, so I've let the cake cool for 10 minutes, and now is the true test. This is the most nerve wracking part of this entire experience, is hoping that your cake comes out perfectly. So let's say a quick prayer. Amen, okay. Um, All right, so I'm gonna put on my oven mitts because the cake pan is still hot, but I can't leave the cake in there. I do need to take it out to make sure that the cake doesn't stick into inside of the cake pan oh this one might be a pretty good bake let's see now is the ooh, oh oh uh oh let's see out hot 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 oh that's a pretty good bake that is so pretty. When you put enough shortening and flour in your cake pan prior to putting the cake batter in there, then um, you get a clean cake. All right, you wanna try it? Let's try it. Grab my knife. I am going to cut myself a nice Generous slice. Oh, and it's still warm. Oh, yes. This is perfect with some ice cream, some vanilla ice cream. Look at that bake. Pretty. It's still hot. Super pretty. Okay. Let's give it a try. Bon appetit. Mm. Mm. Of course it's delicious because I made it. <laughs> so you can find the ingredients in this recipe on tasteofchicago.us. Tasteofchicago.us. I am Chef Maya Camille Broussard with Justice of the Pies. And I would like to thank you for joining us at Taste of Chicago to Go cookie demonstration. And don't forget to visit us at justiceofthepies.com. And if you want to take more cooking classes like the one we just did, sign up for my classes at justiceforallrecipes.com. Bye. Wait, I think I need another bite of cake. Yeah. Mmm.